Our next guest is a Tony Award winning actress. Uh, this woman is nominated again for her performance in If Then at the Richard Rogers Theater. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the lovely Dina Menzel, everyone. <laughs> You to be smell here. great. I'm excited I to smell have you. Great. You smell wonderful. Thanks. But you've been here before, but you've just not been here. I've before. never been yeah. here. And what were you doing here before? I sang for Rent mm -hmm. like 15 Rent? years ago. Right. The original Rose. And I and I sang um, for Wicked. I was in green makeup and uh, do we have a uh, do we... I, I don't know, we have some things there. I never, but see, look, this is the thing. I never got to meet you, and I thought that day I would get to meet you because mm -hmm. you always go over to the musical yes. acts and shake their hands. But and then I was up are. in the air, and I was waving to you, and you <laughs> waved to me, and that was as close as I ever got. <laughs> well, it's nice to have you here for heaven's sake. It's so great. I used to sit. I used to sit with my um, boyfriend in high school and like sit in his twin twin bed in his <laughs> his room with his you know Cindy Crawford and Christy Brinkley and Van Halen posters around and and he'd put he'd want to you know get handsy and I wanted to just watch you and we had oh. you on all the time. It's taking me. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Why well, can't we have both? <laughs> um, we could have both. But, tell you tell me, have you ever been in a Broadway musical that just sucked? <laughs> I mean, you, no. you mentioned these, uh, Wicked and Rent. And, I'm very uh, lucky. And, yeah, well, not yeah. very lucky. You get into uh, good parts because you're a good performer. Well, you're I also get in early on original musicals that take years to make. It's really hard. You know, I don't just do revivals, so mm -hmm. it takes a long time, and the whole creative team has to work really hard, And but but because of that, they write it for me, and it makes my job mm -hmm. easier, and then I'm, I'm good. Well, <laughs> no. I mean, you make it, yeah. If that were the case, I'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, th and then and then Frozen uh, comes along. Yeah. And, and and were you surprised that they contacted you about this? No, it's that the casting director bootlegged uh, me singing um, Blackbird da -da 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 -da, mm -hmm. you know, on another audition for Tangled. She bootlegged it on her on her phone. She kept it, and then she hired me for the, mm -hmm. the next one. So yeah. that was kind of cool. But but is is there uh, uh, like if you wanted to be in in, in, in movies exclusive or not exclusively? But let's yeah. just say you wanted to change. I have to audition all the time. Is that, that right? What you're asking? Yeah. Is, for is movies there, is... and television, I I have to just like kiss a lot of butt and go through the whole. <laughs> Thing. Yeah, I do. It's okay. But I is, mean, is there, a, a, and I don't know if this is the correct word, but is there a bias? People coming from musical theater versus people trying to be in uh, motion pictures? Uh, it's more in the pop and the rock world in the music industry, I'd say. Um, it's very strange. All these years I've been trying to make it and cross over, and I've worked with all these incredible music producers, and everybody had their rules on just what kind of sound a single would be, and you couldn't come from Broadway because you have all this vibrato, and you're going to sound like Ethel Merman on, on rock radio, you know? And then I finally have this hit song, and it's this song from a Disney movie, and the lyrics are like frozen fractals. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You showed them. You showed them all. I showed them. You just gotta you stick got around long enough. Got a huge hit record. That's <laughs> right. So, but you know, you stick around long enough. It's been, you know, like 25 years since I was fooling around my boyfriend and watching you, and now I finally am here. <laughs> uh, what? Uh... <laughs> So, uh, the night of the Academy Awards, uh, and I said to somebody this afternoon, do we really talk about this still? Yeah, let's talk about it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so you're going to be there uh, singing the Academy Award nominated song from the, the film uh, right. Frozen. Right. Something I always hoped mm -hmm. I'd be doing. There, and there you are. <laughs> and and it, more pressure or not? Uh, this lots, of pressure. lots of pressure. I mean, pressure. I've sung for Barbara Streisand before at the Kennedy Center. I just sing Don't Rain on My Parade with her right there. Mm -hmm. And I sang for Obama, President Obama once when he was literally right there. And it was what you call literally literal spitting distance mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but this was what this was up there and I was terrified and I wore shoes I, I knew I'm not like Beyonce you know I can't just stand and sing in crazy heels and and like use my you know I, I can't do it so I I knew that the dress was long enough and I'd have these great big chunky platform heels that I felt solid on but I'd still look tall and pretty you know and like you know a little skinny or whatever yep. and then and um, so I prepared that and then I went through all this meditation I said just forget about those people out there as amazing as they are and Sing to your son. I have a four-year-old beautiful oh, little son. Oh, what a son. lovely idea. You know, just sing to walk. Uh, it's perfect. And then the third thing was just 
The third thing was just breathe. Like, get out there and don't let them rush you and breathe. But this and is then, interesting that you go through this mental, emotional yes. preparation. But this is something you, you have done every night of your life, more or less, for, you know, all your adult... Sometimes I have to do that, too. Uh, it depends. Some nights I'm not as nervous as others, but right. I, I need I my things to keep me but focused. But this is a big deal. Okay, yeah. and so now uh, John Travolta, bless his heart, he comes out... Yeah. <laughs> now, did you hear the introduction, or did... I did. Yeah. Yeah. So... <laughs> and he, sa he says, everyone that... hoped I didn't. I guess, <laughs> but said... I did, and it was quite demoralizing oh, for about it, eight seconds. It bothered you. Well, Adele, he says Adele Dazeem. And I felt so sorry for myself. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know, this is my opportunity, and he just wrecked my name, and I felt like, and then I said. What am, get over yourself. You're at the Oscars. You have this amazing song. You can back it up and sing it live. Like, just yeah. do your thing and forget about that. Yeah. So, you know, it took me about, I, I really think it was eight seconds. And then but the orchestra starts playing, so I can't, like, get stuck <laughs> in my know. neuroses for too long, you know? <laughs> and, then, and then I did my thing. I got off. And then Ellen was really nice, and she kept repeating my name uh -huh. so the world would know it. And, and now it's the best thing that ever happened yeah. to me, you know? It's, what a delightful thing, though. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you could have just screamed over, it's uh, it Adina again. Menzel. I could have. It's not Adele Dazeem. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. But, but I also, didn't want to seem like I had a chip on my shoulder. No, and what but, was I going to do? That, it, it, would it also sort of make you relax when you realized, well, there's nothing I can do wrong here And now here I'm at bad, all. they'll just think it's that girl Adele Dazeem. That's right. Exactly. Boy, just, <laughs> <laughs> Adele Dazeem. Uh, now, uh, when we come back, oh, she's going to be at Radio City uh, one yeah, night only. Yeah, that's the first two. This, this is a, a big, oh, that's big a great couple place. months for that's me, Dave. Thank fantastic. you for having me uh, here. June 16th, uh, Radio City, uh, one night only live. And then you, when we come back, you're going to sing for us. From If Then. Yeah, God bless you. Thank you. Nice to see you. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. With Adina Menzel. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Here we go. Whoa, look at this. We got something going here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, performing a song from the hit Broadway musical, If Then, at the Richard Rogers Theater, here is the wickedly talented, <laughs> oh, so lovely, Adina Menzel. <laughs>
Everybody. Thank you very much. Oh my God, that was great. That was delightful. Thank you so much. If then, ladies and gentlemen, now at the Richard Rogers Theater, the lovely Adina Menzel. That was just beautiful. Great pleasure to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. Come back anytime. Name, Thank, right? you. Thank you. Well, I do what I can. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Good night, everybody. This is Alan Coffey speaking. Get